these are the most important things to know to play Kiriko well, which I learned as a Grandmaster Kiriko player with 160 hours on her in Season 1. Kune headshot is 3x damage, so you should basically never go for body shots. You'll miss out on burst damage, which is harder for enemies to deal with, than chip damage. You still heal at the max rate even if you weave a kunai in between each set of 5 afudas. You should always try to weave in a kunai for random burst that will open up kills for your teammates and allow you to build ult much faster. Teleport gives you 0.25 seconds of immortality as you come out of it. You can use this to dodge lethal damage. Suzu should be used anytime someone could be taking lethal or chunky damage. Don't just save it for big ults. It's better to waste a Suzu every now and then rather than not use it. Don't hold Fox for combos. It's an insanely powerful ult on its own. You should be using it almost any time you have a somewhat even fight to gain an advantage. To sum up Kiriko's entire playstyle, it's to flank, damage, and distract as much as possible up until the point that you need to do healing. If you can get into position before the fight starts, start on the flank while being in TP range of allies, Always make sure to look back to make sure they're in TP range. Apply as much pressure as possible onto squishes until your team needs healing. If you can't get the flank or you're mid fight, try to focus on using kunai as much as possible while targeting enemy squishes. Shooting the tank is worthless most of the time. Only heal if your teammates need it. Don't waste your time topping up your tank after they drop 50 HP. And if you're healing, remember to weave kunais in. If the fight is going slow and no one really needs healing, look for opportunities to flank and target the squishes. Kunais are incredibly inconsistent at long range, so whenever you have the freedom to get closer, you should take it. Remember, you can always TP out.